Hi, I'm Jared. And I'm Brad. And this week on Hood Slappers, we're going to be reviewing the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas. For years, Volkswagen has been a household name, and that makes complete sense. Because when you have one of the best-selling cars in the world, everybody should know who you are. But it's not just that, or the fact that they own Audi, Lamborghini, Bugatti, but they're also a cultural icon. The brand is cool, and they have a racing pedigree like no other. I mean, what other car brand can you put their logo on a skimboard, and it actually sells? Kia? In 2016, Volkswagen spent more money than any other company in the world on research and development. And that is so evident because those massive steps in technology, ride handling, and fuel economy are ever so evident on their latest and their greatest, the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas. It has the room, it has the technology, and it even has a racing steering wheel. Volkswagen's most recent upgrades like IQ headlights, wireless charging, and roadside recognition are just a few of the options available on the newest models. Even the logo has made a slight change. Halfway through 2021 cycle, they decided, no, not good enough yet. And they kept adding and adding features. And so now you've got all these great additions. For instance, you've got blind spot monitoring, which for someone like me is just so essential. Oh, you're a terrible driver. Well, I'm not, I, I wouldn't go that far. And regardless, anybody can benefit from it. Right. And then of course you've got wireless app connect, which I love, I'm so tired of wires in the car. How many wires do you have in the car? I've got three. I got my wife and I's phone charging and our little, because we don't really have speakers in our car, we gotta plug in. Our or little speaker, you know. What do you so, drive again? Uh, 2010 Toyota Corolla. Right, right. Yes, uh, yes. Was it a special edition? Is that why you, you went and got a 2010? It was standard. I still got the roll-up windows. Yeah. You know. The it does have automatic locks, so you can lock it automatically. Hubcaps? <laughs> no, I have none. But it did have hubcaps. It did, it did. I've okay. lost them all over the past decade. This is really the kind of car someone like me upgrading from a 2010 Toyota Corolla. Yeah. That kid on the bicycle earlier, that, uh, that would also be an upgrade, I think, from your, <laughs> from your hubcapless Toyota. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. how to roll these windows down? There's, well, there's, it, a, it, button. It, there's, there's a button. There's a button. There is a button. You know what I like about it? What? One thing I like about Volkswagen is they have an all-wheel drive system and they gave it a name. They didn't just call it ah. all-wheel drive. They call it four motion because that's what you're supposed to do when you have something so brilliant. It's without giving it a name. It's it's like having a kid and naming it kid. <laughs> I, I think you're right. A name's important. I think I would go with Ollie. Like Muhammad Ali, but also Ollie as in all-wheel drive. I think like A-L-I? That's right. Ollie. Huh? Do you think people will call it Alley on accident? Ooh, don't want that happening. No, no. Maybe you gotta go O, L, I. There's two different engine options. There's a 3.6 V6, which was gonna give you the more power and the 5,000 towing capacity, but if you don't need that, you also have the four cylinder, two liter. Huh. Okay, a little less, you know, rugged yes. and pulling things and and whatnot, but uh, it's still a great car. You got options. Absolutely it is. You know, just driving it, you know what this is, Eric? It's a minivan without the stigma of a minivan. But wouldn't that possess its own stigma that's negative? Like, look at the car. This doesn't have the look of a minivan, you know? It, I love this car. What would make things even better is if I could give it a spin, a drive. What do you think? Nah, not right now. Soon? No. I would. I think I would look great behind the wheel too. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, maybe you could try that out one day. Yeah. <laughs> First day of spring, boy, what I would do to be behind the wheel. Tell you what. Yeah. If I get you behind the wheel, will you uh, never ask to drive again? For for any car. 
This is my one shot. This is it. <laughs> is the Atlas your choice? <laughs> you know what? I like it enough. It could, it could be. Until next time. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a shot. All right. In a minute. Bass versus snare sounds mm-hmm. on the... Like that. I will say this. The Toyota Corolla has a great drumming sound steering. That's because everything's plastic. See, this is, is soft touch material. <laughs> Oh, that's better, Jared. <laughs> oh, this feels good. Huh? I like it. Doesn't this feel right? You there, me here? No. But no. what you're experiencing mm. is the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas exec line. So, viewers, we have navigation, 8 inch display screen. We have the digital cockpit, which is multifunctional. You can put your navigation screen right in front of your face. We have cooling seats, heated seats. We have 360 camera. We have this massive roof. We've got everything. Heated steering wheel. This is the lap of luxury without having to spend too much money. Now, the Atlas was made specifically for the North American market and it has three rows. The biggest problem with three row SUVs, it's hard to get in the back. And once you're in the back, it's not overly comfortable. We've managed to locate a North American and here he is now to test out the back seat. He fits. Well, there you have it. It's fresh, it's new, it's exciting. It has all the technology you can imagine and it's built by a brand that knows a thing or two about the automotive industry. I give this car my hood slap of approval. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.